The Barnsley Fern is a fractal named after the British mathematician Michael Barnsley who first described it in his book Fractals Everywhere. He made it to resemble the black spleen wort, as splenia madiantum nigrum. History The fern is one of the basic examples of self-similar sets, i.e., it is a mathematically generated pattern that can be reproducible at any magnification or reduction, like the Sierpinski triangle. The Barnsley fern shows how graphically beautiful structures can be built from repetitive uses of mathematical formulas with computers. Barnsley's book about fractals is based on the course which he taught for undergraduate and graduate students in the School of Mathematics, Georgia Institute of Technology, called Fractal Geometry. After publishing the book, a second course was developed, called Fractal Measure Theory. Barnsley's work has been a source of inspiration to graphic artists attempting to imitate nature with mathematical models. The fern code developed by Barnsley is an example of an iterated function system to create a fractal. He has used fractals to model a diverse range of phenomena in science and technology, but most specifically plant structures. IFSs provide models for certain plants, leaves, and ferns, by virtue of the self-similarity which often occurs in branching structures in nature. But nature also exhibits randomness and variation from one level to the next, no two ferns are exactly alike, and the branching fronds become leaves at a smaller scale. V-variable fractals allow for such randomness and variability across scales while at the same time admitting a continuous dependence on parameters which facilitates geometrical modeling. These factors allow us to make the hybrid biological models. We speculate that when a v-variable geometrical fractal model is found that has a good match to the geometry of a given plant, then there is a specific relationship between these code trees and the information stored in the genes of the plant. Michael Barnsley A.L. Construction. Barnsley's fern uses four affine transformations. The formula for one transformation is the following. Barnsley shows the IFS code for his black spleenwort fern fractal as a matrix of values shown in a table. In the table, the columns A through F are the coefficients of the equation, and P represents the probability factor. These correspond to the following transformations. Computer generation Though Barnsley's fern could in theory be plotted by hand with a pen and graph paper, the number of iterations necessary runs into the tens of thousands, which makes use of a computer practically mandatory. Many different computer models of Barnsley's fern are popular with contemporary mathematicians. As long as the math is programmed correctly using Barnsley's matrix of constants, the same fern shape will be produced. The first point drawn is at the origin and then the new points are iteratively computed by randomly applying one of the following four coordinate transformations. F1 Xn plus 1 equals 0 Yn plus 1 equals 0 0.16 Yn. This coordinate transformation is chosen 1% of the time and just maps any point to a point in the first line segment at the base of the stem. This part of the figure is the first to be completed in during the course of iterations. F2 Xn plus 1 equals 0.85 Xn plus 0.04 Yn Yn plus 1 equals minus 0.04 Xn plus 0.85 Yn plus 1.6. This coordinate transformation is chosen 85% of the time and maps any point inside the leaflet represented by the red triangle to a point inside the opposite. Smaller leaflet represented by the blue triangle in the figure, F3 Xn plus 1 equals 0.2 Xn minus 0.26 Yn Yn plus 1 equals 0.23 Xn plus 0.22 Yn plus 1.6. 
This coordinate transformation is chosen 7% of the time and maps any point inside the leaflet represented by the blue triangle to a point inside the alternating corresponding triangle across the stem. F4xn plus 1 equals minus 0.15 xn plus 0.28 yn yn plus 1 equals 0.26 xn plus 0.24 yn plus 0.44. This coordinate transformation is chosen 7% of the time and maps any point inside the leaflet represented by the blue triangle to a point inside the alternating corresponding triangle across the stem. The first coordinate transformation draws the stem. The second generates successive copies of the stem and bottom fronds to make the complete fern. The third draws the bottom frond on the left. The fourth draws the bottom frond on the right. The recursive nature of the ifs guarantees that the whole is a larger replica of each frond. Note that the complete fern is within the range minus 2.1820 less than x less than 2.6558 and 0 y less than 9.9983. Mutant varieties by playing with the coefficients, it is possible to create mutant fern varieties. In his paper on V-variable fractals, Barnsley calls this trait a superfractal. One experimenter has come up with a table of coefficients to produce another remarkably naturally looking fern however, resembling the Cyclosaurus or the Lipteridaceae fern. These are